Hi everyone, this is V Santiago113. Uh, going to be showing you today how to get uh, Python 2, Python 3 installed on Windows. I'm using Windows 8. How to get it all ready and set up, and also how to install virtual environment wrapper and how to use it a little bit. So let's start. Uh, to start, all uh, we have to do is uh, we have to go on python.org. We are going to download both. We are going to download Python 3 and Python 2. And also, uh, we are going to go here and download the C compiler for Python 2.7. In case you need it. I already had it downloaded anyways over there. First, we are going to install the compiler. Uh, installation should be pretty fast. Then after this, we are going to install uh, Python 3. And then last, we're going to install Python 2. Okay, that's all done. Okay, let's delete, uh, let's delete all this, let's delete this, let's delete this, and let's delete this. Okay, so now um, in Windows, whatever version of Python you install after or, or, or last, that's a con that is going to be the default one. If I install Python 3 now, and then I install Python 2, then Python 2 is going to be the default for Windows. So that's why we're now going to install Python 3. And now click uh, add to uh, to uh, add Python 3.6 to path. So that's a bit, uh, uh, it's an environment variable for Windows on the system. Then we're going to uh, click on customize installation. Click next. And now here click install for all users. You want this to be on a C drive. Make it uh, this make it a lot easier to find. So uh, C drive on Python 36. Then click install. We're gonna wait a little bit. Uh, it takes a little bit more than Python 2 to to install. And then after this, we're gonna delete it. Uh, we're gonna install Python 2.7. It's almost done. Maybe like 10 more seconds or so. It's taking a little longer. If you have a really fast computer, it's not going to take too long. Okay, that's it. Um, we can get rid of this. Now we're going to install Python 2. Uh, make sure you select install for all users. Click next. Make sure it's on a C drive, Python 27. Now here you want to uh, make sure pip is uh, selected and also add python.exe to the to the path and then click uh, next. This one uh, is a lot faster. This one what what is not gonna take that long like Python 3. Okay, we're finished and we're going to delete this over here. Okay, now there's two things here that we have to test uh, really quick. We're gonna go to Windows. We want to make sure that we can get to Python. We do. Now we're gonna exit this out. We want to make sure pip is installed, which it is. And now we're gonna do uh, a pip install for uh, pywin32. Win okay. Okay, that's install uh, uh, Python dash p to make sure Python 2.7 is the one that is the default. Okay, now we're gonna do uh, p uh, p install uh, then we're going to install a uh, virtual environment wrapper dash win. This one is specifically for Windows, this is the one that we want. Okay, that's that's good. Okay, we got no uh, environments uh, set up over there already. Ready. Um. Okay, that's all good. Uh, one more thing we want to do. Let's go to Python three here real quick. Go to scripts on Python three. Go to a command prompt. We're gonna do a pip uh, install. Uh, PYWIN32. That's good. This is all we need to do for this one. 
now here we want to create uh, a project let's create one uh, virtual environment uh, one for Python 2 and one for Python 3 so when you want to install one for Python uh, 2 all you have to do is uh, make so you're gonna make a type of MK virtual EMV dash P 2 to use version 2 Python 2 and then the name let's name this Python uh, 2 as you can see over here is using uh, Python 27 directory for Python 2 now it's finished uh, you see now it activated uh, by default so what we're gonna do over here we're gonna do deactivate okay and we're going to create another one for Python 3 and that's gonna be dash p3 for Python 3 and the name of your virtual environment it's gonna be 3 uh, you can name it whatever you want this is just an example yeah you see it's using python 36 directory if you want to see how many virtual environments you created you can say ls virtual env and now you see i have to have python 2 and i have a python 3. now let's say you want to set uh, a project which is um for one of these for example Let's say over here on my GitHub uh, directory, I want to set one for my blog over here. And I'm going to press Shift, uh, right click, and then I'm going to say Copy Path. I'm going to say Set Project Directory. Will be Set Project DIR, and I'm going to pa paste the path to my Python project that I have, and I'm press Enter, and that's it. If you want to work on that one. Oh, it must be activated. Let me uh, Python three, and now we're gonna say project dir, and let's do this again. And there you go. Now it's deactivated. If you want to work on, let's say you have a specific virtual environment for a specific project, all you have to do go on the command prompt, work on, and then you give it the name of the uh, virtual environment. And then it automatically activate it and it changes the directory to where your actual Python project is, which makes everything a lot easier. And there you go. And let's say you want to delete one. Let's delete Python 2 just to give you another example of how you can delete uh, virtual environments. So you can see we have two over here to, re to remove one. You're going to say rm virtual AMV and then the name of the one that you want to uninstall now if you type uh, LC virtual AMV you're gonna see that it's gone now we only have one so if we see our uh, work on Python 3 now uh, in this directory you have a requirements file for my blog project so we're gonna see uh, do a pip install dash r And then we're gonna install whatever it is in that uh, requirements file, and that's everything. That's uh, that's how you set up everything on your Windows environment and your Windows computer. And that's it, guys. That's everything for today. Um, make sure you like the video. That's gonna help me out. Make sure you subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get more uh, notification as soon as I upload uh, a video. Also, if you follow me on Twitter, you can get notified when a new video is uploaded. I'm going to uh, be uploading more videos and sharing more information with you guys. Uh, have, uh, thank you for everything and have a good day.